Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else marriage hey hey guys and welcome welcome back to the channel now i do want to talk about in this video Ariane threatening on tv melody ho and Cass after the tasha k interview because she says that they're coming with fake storylines and the storylines revolve around her i also want to talk about in this video about Ariane and her tasha k interview but first how do you feel about the interview did you feel it was a fair and honest interview did it make you feel neutral towards Ariane, or did your heart continue to go out for melody as hope leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Ariane actually went live after the interview with Tasha K on her Instagram page and answered some of those questions. Now fans of the show did ask the questions to Ariane on her live and Ariane either answered the question or she passed on answering the question. And after the interview many fans wanted to know how did Ariane feel about doing the interview with Tasha K and she said that she was blessed and highly favored honey. Definitely feel like a weight lifted y'all. Definitely woke up like <sighs> you know and I wouldn't necessarily take that for face value you know I just think it's a cover up if I'm being very honest by telling fans that she is blessed and highly favored. I think it's a cover up for what she really feels. So after the interview on Ariane's Instagram page, she actually posted this picture and this post and it says, Ariane MF Curry, say what you want. It's been three years and I'm the topic of that show. I held back so much tea in that interview about all of them silly people. They ain't tired of discussing me and they just had a whole three part reunion about me. They all so fake. I don't care about their dirt, never have, but enough is enough. All I'm asking is for at on TV, at Kingdom Reign to not discuss me anymore. I have that right. Y'all clearly in love with the show centered around me, but out here lying. They ain't discussing what's really going on in Huntsville. These are facts. The more they discuss me, the more I'm putting everybody's business out moving forward. Chess, not checkers. At Unwind with Tasha K, we did numbers, broke the internet, 100K views in an hour. Nobody on this show is relevant. The producers don't even trust likeness to carry out their own show. Pitiful. Um, Tasha K. YouTube. If you go on my story, I tagged her news. Um, it wasn't updated when she had sent me the screenshot, but what I posted on my story was true. Was true. We had a hundred thousand people watching us tuned in about Ariane Janae Curry. Speaking my truth, um, being very, very transparent. Not lying, not telling y'all some bullshit. I just, I see, I don't have a contract with TV. So, y'all heard the real. Did I accomplish what I wanted for the interview? Um, I told what I wanted. Thank y'all were so supportive of me. Like, I was watching it and I was just like, Ariana, oh, yeah, you did so good. Like, I was so proud of myself. Nothing to apologize for. And they still mad about the truth. Of course they mad. Of course. But I can't worry about them um, negative Nancys. Let them hate, girl. Of course. Are you back in Huntsville? I'm back in Huntsville now. You did beautifully. Thank you. We needed more thesis. I told y'all. I'm so transparent with y'all. Y'all know. I, I tell y'all everything. Already. Did great. Real good. Well done. Do you think you owe Oprah an apology? No. <laughs> what? Her network is the one using my likeness. Do they owe me an apology? Yes. <laughs> Um, she can't sue. Her, her network is using me. No, he wasn't mad. You think I told just enough? Thank you, sis. I 
I still held back um, somewhat, guys. Like, I let enough TV exposed, but I still didn't. Y'all know I know more. I just need to, to share my truth. That's it. That's all. Y'all always ask me so many questions. It's not that it's trendy, it's just because it's on TV. It's just because, you know, everybody does things that they necessarily don't want to get out. Um, unfortunate part about mine is six people use my story to gain fame. I'm no different than nobody else, y'all. Really didn't tell anything. Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> like what? Do you regret anything? Um, yes and no. And I want to say that Ariane saying that she's going to air out everybody's business. I actually did another video in December where the brother of Maurice and Marceau Scott is saying the same thing. He's saying that a lot of things are going to be unwind and untwisted about the different storylines coming into this new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So I don't know if Ariane is on to something. I don't know if she's just making threats. She has made threats in the past, honey, but a lot of times them threats actually fall through the cracks. Now when asked Ariane, does she feel vindicated and redeemed? Ariane also passed on answering the question and in my opinion I have always said this that I don't think she will ever feel vindicated or redeemed for some of the stuff that has been said about her until she's actually on the show and she is on Martel's arm honey by his side in living color. Ariane was also asked would she marry Martel if he was to ask her and she passes on answering this question but as in that she doesn't want to settle down right now or be married but also that she doesn't regret her relationship with Martel honey because he was nice to her and so from the interview with Tasha K we know that Ariane is now speaking out after the airing of part three of Love and Marriage Huntsville because of all of the lying this is what prompted her to speak out and fans asked her how do you feel with the cast mostly talking about you in their storyline and she says that it does make her feel depressed and sad at times now Ariane was young when she met Martell honey she was in her early 20s and she says that she would tell her younger self to do what's best for Ariane again I believe her making that statement is telling us that she regrets not speaking up for herself and she does tend to air out her frustration a little bit out on her social media on her Instagram page but Ariane is only able to tell a select few fans of Love and Marriage Huntsville for those who actually tune in to her live but because our platform isn't as big as being on national television. If you compare the millions of people who watch Love & Marriage Huntsville on the own network versus Ariane getting a few thousand on her platform, there's no comparison. And so that's why I said that I don't believe that she feels vindicated or redeemed until she's actually on national television to get her own story out. Now, early in this video, I also mentioned, did your heart go out for Melody because of the ups and downs that she went through in her marriage with Martell, which eventually ended up in a divorce because of this affair with Ariane. But Ariane actually answers this question and she says that she does take accountability for her role in the affair, but didn't break up their home. She also explains why she chose to do the interview with Tasha K and addresses the reasons why she couldn't do a sit down with Funk and Dineva, which I think a lot of us wants her to do that, that sit down with Funk and Dineva. But she says that he is on payroll for Love and Marriage Huntsville, honey. Now shout out to Funk and Dineva here on YouTube. I love his video and commentary about the show but I'm also just a fan of his channel and his videos in general so if you haven't checked him out you don't know who he is go ahead and head on to his channel it's funky Dineva. but before I wrap up this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video how do you feel about Ariane threatening on tv honey threatening Melody and the whole cast of Love and Marriage Huntsville saying that she's gonna air out these fake storylines leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video as always thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys in the next video she did take accountability thank you Nelson Thank you. So what made you do an interview with Tasha K? Um it was basically I was just tired of the false narrative out here. Like that last reunion, that three-part special when they put me at the forefront and was speaking for me, I'm just tired of it at this point. That's all. Mm -hmm. okay. That's all. Somebody want to know why um, Tasha K and Funky Dineva. I'm going to fuck you, Dineva. 
I can't hear you. Hello? Hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. What's Ariana a sign? I'm a Virgo, but my Virgo. name is spelled A-R-I-O-N-N-E. I got one R, two N. Still standing, Walker said, what did Martell say about that interview? Um, he didn't say much. <laughs> mm. So a lot of people are saying Funky Dineza. Have you considered talking to Quentin? No, he's on payroll, so nope. Okay. Um, do you regret your relationship with Martel since he's not with you? No. Are y'all stupid? Martel was nice to me. Do you feel like Martel is a narcissist? Pass. Y'all getting too big personal. Okay, so.